Today, let's talk about taking care of first things first, reading from Matthew chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 23. We read this. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First, be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Agree with your adversary quickly while you are on the way with him, lest your adversary deliver you to the judge, the judge hand you over to the officer, and you be thrown into prison. Assuredly, I say to you, you will by no means get out of there until you have paid the last penny. Jesus preached this amazing sermon that we call the Sermon on the Mount. And one great theme in the Sermon on the Mount is to expose the contrast between true and false religion, but not so much in a theological or doctrinal sense. The emphasis of Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount is how our ideas about God are lived out in daily life. Here, Jesus has in mind someone doing something good in a religious sense, that is bringing a gift to the altar of sacrifice at the temple in Jerusalem. Now, that was a good and honorable thing to do. Yet, Jesus told us that if, on the way to the altar, we remember that something was wrong in our relationship to a brother or sister in the faith, we should then stop. Then Jesus continued, Leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. And then make reconciliation with your brother in the faith. Jesus considered it more important to be reconciled to a brother than to perform a religious duty. Jesus said that we must first be reconciled to your brother. We can't think that our service towards the Lord justifies bad relationships with others. Instead of going on in our intended service to God, you should agree with your adversary quickly. When we ignore it or pass it off, it genuinely imprisons us. Jesus described it like being thrown into prison. Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, you will by no means get out of there until you have paid the last penny. Even if one were to allow for a certain amount of passionate overstating, these are sobering words from Jesus. The implication is that the chronic neglect of relationships shows something is fundamentally wrong in our relationship with God. Jesus pressed on us an urgency to get it right with others. The truth is that when we don't get along with our brothers and sisters in the faith, it reflects on something disturbing in our life with God. Paul expressed the same idea in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 26 and 27. He said, Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. When we hold on to our anger against others, then we sin and we give place to the devil, as Paul said in Ephesians chapter 4. We should do what Paul commanded in Romans chapter 12, verse 18, if it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Take care of these things first. Get relationships right before bringing your service or sacrifice to God. Hey, maybe today God is speaking to you about somebody that you need to get right with in honor to the Lord and what Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount.